Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm doing an unboxing of G.I. Joe Deck Building Game from Renegade Game Studios, designed by T.C. Petty III, son of T.C. Petty, grandson of T.C. Petty. Anyway, G.I. Joe, this is based on the late, I guess the late 80s forward version of G.I. Joe, not the G.I. Joe I grew up with, which is the cool Kung Fu Grip G.I. Joe. And here is G.I. Joe with Kung Fu Grip. G.I. Joe has hands that grip. Fingers you hold open and let close. Hands that hold on with a Kung Fu Grip. The grip you help Joe use in self-defense. G.I. Joe with Kung Fu Grip. The hands that grip. Um, but still I don't know enough about this, my young cousin uh, young at the time, he's he's not young now, but um, he was really into the G.I. Joe stuff, so I knew enough about it, but but this is kind of new to me, but uh, deck buildings are great, and so um, I believe this one does play solo. Uh, let's see, this is for one to four players, 14 and up. So let's dig in and see what you get in the box. I love a good deck builder. Answer the call. Fall in. The evil organization Cobra threatens the world with their schemes and it's up to you to stop them. In this deck building game, you and fellow players will lead teams of G.I. Joe soldiers on missions to stop Cobra's dastardly plans. Each player starts the game with a meager deck that will grow more powerful as you recruit veterans from the G.I. Joe team, requisition gear, and field new vehicles. This fully cooperative game pits you against increasingly dangerous missions to save the world. Of course, that begins your journey with everything needed to play, but be prepared for more Joes and missions to come. And for understand, there's already several, several expansions for this. This is still growing, still very popular. So still very cool. And of course, being fully cooperative. It is solo friendly. You could play as many hands as you want up to four, I guess. All right, so digging in, what we got here? We've got advertising for the G.I. Joe role-playing game. So if you're really into the G.I. Joe and milieu, you can, you can roll up your characters and play that. There's also a Transformers deck building game. Wow. Wow, that's cool. All right, again, Transformers after my time. I mean, I'm still here, so then it's after my time, but... Please shut up, Grandma! All right, so we start with the rulebook. G.I. Joe Deck Building Game rulebook. Full color, not too big a print. Uh, let's see, it is... Uh, so we can deduce the pages. It's only 24 pages in full color. Large print. So even though there's not a lot of graphics taking up full pages, this, this one has some, some on there. It is... Not a lot of text you're gonna have to read. The layout, I don't know if you played um, Marvel United, the layout reminds me very similar to that for some reason. Um, but anyway, this is the content you're gonna get. All right, and story packs, mission one, mission two. Mass device. You can tell them to kiss mass. And operation total control. All right, so that's the rule book. And then we've got our punch boards here. So we got, oh, it's just gonna, they're all just gonna come out. So you've only got a few, you got a hanger, transports are placed here when recruited, are played from your hand. You got a reserve on your turn, you may place one card here for no effect. End of turn, after drawing, you can draw this card into your hand as well. So that's kind of cool, you get to save cards and it looks like for solo, you get to have two in there. End of round, reminders, activate any penalties. And then you got the threat marker. It's obviously Cobra. What if it's any, oh, this is for three to four players. And this has for one to two players. So you get that sheet of punch boards, of that, that one punch board of counters, I should say. And then we have, let's see, we got some dice. Oh, that's interesting. A deck building game with dice. There's six dice here. So we've got two, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess hits maybe, one hit, circles or misses, single hits, two hits. So you got three sides with hits, one with double, and then three sides misses, if that's what that means. And I assume it does. So they're kind of a nice olive green. 
with a light green fill and you get eight of those. And then we've got stacks of cards here. We will check those out. And then in addition, we've got, so these are standard size cards. And these are those larger oversized cards. And this looks like it's the mission cards, perhaps. So yeah, because it says a mission too right there. And this one says story mission. So I was really, really uh, being a brainiac there, figuring that one out. So I don't want to reveal too much of the mission cards, so there'll be a surprise. But the story mission is Uncover the Double Agent. Cobra sent a double agent right into the Joe's HQ. Will the Joe's be able to find this agent of chaos? At the end of each round, draw a complication. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't want to spoil anything. So anyway, the artwork is very nice. I do like the artwork. Looks like comic book art. I'm not sure if that's how the show was. But uh, very cool. All right, so we'll cover those down. They have uh, Mission 2, I guess Act 3, perhaps. And Act 2 of Mission 2 and Mission 1. So that's neat. Awesome sauce. All right, so the main part of the decks, I, I took all three decks you know, out of their sleeves and or their wrapping and then you know, sorted them into the different components. So the main you know, back for your cards is going to be this. And these are the cards that you're going to draw and draft during the game. So these are some of your starter cards. Second effort, they're marked starter. And then we've got G.I. Joe, starters. And obviously they give you, I'm assuming, command points to buy and attack points. And so we've got some starters for Joes. And then we've got, get past those, I guess. And then we've got service rifles, which give you attack. Um, very cool. And then Scarlet, who's a Joe leader. Snake Eyes, who's a leader. Duke, who's a leader. Lady J, who's a leader. I love the artwork because they're not all, it's not all similar art, right? In fact, in fact, Lady J is triggering facial recognition on the camera right now. The artwork is so good. Whereas poor Duke, he's not. Roadblock. So you got all these leaders in barbecue. You got a lot of different, uh, you know, grunt soldiers too. So very cool. I may have to get in some of this uh, IP just to see how it goes. So that's pretty neat. So then you got transports, striker, off striker, rams, APCs, and then utility cards, gas grenades, gear. Proximity mines, smart missiles. And then lastly, we've got some promoted leaders. So they, they did well and they got promoted. So those are the, the core cards that you're gonna use. And they go, the, the, you do have an insert, which is really cool. Place to put the uh, mission cards and probably for some of the expansion, you got a deep well here for cards. And then you got, you can put your starter decks here. I don't know if you can see them or not. And it does appear that they will accommodate sleeved cards. There's a lot of room and a lot of height there that will accommodate those. So that's that type of card. Then we've got these cards, which are also there. Excuse me, I should say, but we've got these Cobra Troopers. Side missions that can come up. When gain, place this in your discard pile. Play this card during your turn. If this card is not defeated by the end of your turn, discard it. So that's Cobra Troopers, which kind of come into your infect your deck. And then we got some more comms for that and then obey cobra all right so we got cobra commander and destro baroness dr mindbender zartan major blood storm shadow cobra battalion and cobra battalions so these are some bad guy cards and then we've got complications. We saw that earlier that you insert a complication into the deck. So I assume these are kind of like, damn, well, no, not really. These are just complications that come up because these would not go into your deck. So Major Blood appears, put Major Blood into play. So you draw a complication at different times during the game and then like events kind of, I would say, at the end of your turn, plus one. Don't tell me the odds, reroll one hit, so during a story mission. 
very cool complications and then finally you get some reference cards here i guess expert mode so no, these are these are also the cobra now with expert mode <laughs> and so when a story missionaries play new card end of round end of round so these are different things you can do for expert mode to ramp up the difficulty if you're so good at it and then finally uh rule reference cards turn sequence and reference for missions one for each player up to four if you pick up the base game of gi joe deck building game from renegade studios you are going to get the oversized mission cards the large three decks three packages that, that form up the the card decks we looked at you're going to get eight custom dice for combat you're going to get one little sheet of punch board so a few tokens tracking tokens on that you are going to get the 24 page did i get that right yeah 24 page full color rule book on how to play gi joe the deck building game and an advertisement for the gi joe role playing game and the transformers deck building game and that is everything that comes in the box. The G.I. Joe Tech Building Game, Renegade Game Studios, T.C. Petty the Third. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!